What is going on guys, your boy Gamers Goon here today. Wait a minute. Do you guys feel hot? Cause I'm I'm starting to get a little hot. Huh. Oh really? It's NXT Takeover! We're lighting the world on fire yet again. Man, what a show. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and compare this show to Double or Nothing like a lot of people in the community have been doing. Both shows were great. Not gonna compare. But this right here is what I consider a wrestling show. Take notes, Vince. Take notes. This show was fantastic. It was. The first match of this show was Matt Riddle versus Roger Strong. Now, this is probably the match with the, the least amount of hype coming into it. You, you know what I'm trying to say? This isn't a big, big moment match. This isn't the match that people are looking forward to seeing. But, jeez. The 14 minutes and 45 seconds these guys were given, did they tear the house down. Now, coming into this match, as I said in my predictions video, I thought Matt Riddle was going to win. As we saw on Saturday, I was correct. This man is probably going to be a champion, whether it be the NXT North American Championship or the NXT Championship holder by the end of 2019 in six months. I could very easily see him holding that North American title. Might be coming after you, Dream. Might be coming after you. But this match right here, this was a match for anybody that wanted to see strong strikes and great selling. This is what that match delivered. Roderick Strong put Matt Riddle over very well. There, there's nothing else you can really talk about this match. It was just really good selling. Had a, You could feel the emotion coming off Roderick Strong and Matt Riddle. Matt Riddle on a close count. That man looked like he was actually like shocked. It was a good, it was a good match, man. It was a really good match. If you didn't go see Takeover, I recommend you do because every one of these matches put on something special. Now the next match was actually a match that I think went over really, really well, and that is the ladder match for the vacant NXT Tag Team Championships. Now in this match we had Oni Lork and Danny Burch. The Undisputed Air, Kyle O'Reilly, and Bobby Fish. And then clearly we had the Forgotten Sons with Wesley Blake and Steve Cutler with no um, Jackson Riker. And then we had the Street Profits. Now, in this match, before this match even started, when Forgotten Sons came out, I, I tweeted out something, and I, I was right. I was right. Now, I, I said, we don't see Jackson Riker right now. There must be something. Jackson Riker is going to be seen before this show's over. Jackson Riker is going to be involved in this match at some point, whether it be the finish or in the middle of the match. Jackson Riker will be there. And as I said, I was proven correct. Jackson Riker came out, and they, they, they didn't have to do this. They could have easily just had everybody go up to Jackson Riker and just, Jackson Riker is done. But no, Jackson Riker kept coming back for more. Coming back for more. They really put over Jackson Riker in this match. Jackson Riker, formerly Gunner from TNA, if you don't if you don't know, um, but he th that man went that man looked really good in this match. He looked very strong. He looked like a legit fighter, a legit competitor that could very easily contend with anybody on the NXT roster. That's how they made that's how they made Jackson Riker look in this match, and he wasn't even part of the match. He wasn't even part of the match. Then we had Oni Lorcan and Danny Burch. Now, in my own opinion, Oni Lorcan had a much better match than Danny Burch. I'm not a huge Danny Burch guy, but Oni Lorcan, clearly, he's a great striker. Oni Lorcan had a decent showing in this match. Um, the Undisputed Era, man. Man, I feel bad for them. I didn't know that Bobby Fish hurt his arm. I, I, I assumed they would have told the story. But he came out later in the show with a with a cat or a, um, a sling on, so maybe Bobby Bobby Fish might be hurt with the arm. And then after the match, we we found out Kyle O'Reilly has a a bunch of his back looks horrible. And the pictures that I've seen, it's like two deep cuts, and his like spine's all black and purple. It looks horrible. 
prayers go up to both those guys. Though both of them take took some bad bumps. Kyle O'Reilly took this one bump off the ladder. They pushed the ladder over. He fell from the top of the ladder to the side of the ladder, right on his back. I was ooh, that did not look good. There was more spots with Kyle O'Reilly too. They kept throwing ladders at him. I was like, dang, Kyle O'Reilly's taking everything. Kyle O'Reilly, I felt really bad for in this match. He was definitely the guy that they were like, you know what, let's just beat him up. And the Forgotten Sons, Steve Cutler didn't provide too much for me in this match. I don't know about you guys. But Wesley Blake had a good showing. Wesley Blake had this one one suicide dive. I was just like, why would he do that? He suicide dived into a ladder to, to take out both of Undisputed Era. I mean, it worked, but you, you wouldn't be able to pay me to do that. Jeez. What? <laughs> That's a pretty interesting way to take somebody out. He dove into the ladder. He didn't dive into either men. He dove into the ladder so that the ladder would fall back. Oh, my Lord. That looked bad, too, man. That A lot of things look pretty brutal in this match. Um, the one thing I do want to mention is there was a, a, a certain spot in this match where Montez Ford did a frog splash. I believe it was over the ladder. Um... It might have been onto another ladder. I don't remember. I don't really know. But Montez Ford did that. It looked pretty bad, too. Uh, I can't. I think it was on O'Reilly again. It probably was. I mean, O'Reilly took all the nasty bumps. But at the end of this match, the Street Profits won. They go around in Bridgeport, Connecticut, holding their red cups. Yeah! Woo! They won. They're over there dancing with the crowd, having a good time. And I said, I said going into this match, if you think the the crowd was hot for Matt Riddle and Roderick Strong, wait, wait to see if the Street Profits win. Bridgeport, Connecticut went absolutely insane for the victory of the Street Profits. And everybody was dancing with their red solo cups out there. It was a really good moment for the Street Profits. It, it, was, it put a smile on my face. I was like, yes, this is what it's all about. That sort of reaction is what it's all about. We do, well, they do this. So that they can have those moments. And that moment was a very big one, in my opinion, for the Street Profits. Congratulations to the Street Profits for finally becoming the NXT Tag Team Champions. Now, this next match was a match I had very high hopes going into. And this match delivered on some some scenarios. But, and it, you know, don't get this the wrong way. This match was good. But they left a little bit to be desired. I think it's safe to say that the Velveteen Dream and Tyler Breeze are much better competitors and could have done a little bit more than what they did on Saturday. This match went 16 minutes and 50 seconds. Now, I think they could have went 20, maybe 25. Um, both of these guys, I know, can put on a great show. Tyler Breeze has done it throughout his entire NXT career, at least. I can't remember a time on the main roster where he's ever done that, mostly because he's been handcuffed, but whatever. The Velveteen Dream, we all know how great Velveteen is. Um, Patrick Clark and Tyler Breeze. Now, this match could be an, a match we see a rematch of in the future, and that's simply because after the Velveteen Dream beat Tyler Breeze, we had a moment where Tyler Breeze gets his phone, he's like, Velveteen, we gotta get a selfie. They do the selfie, and then Breeze turns around, does his little pose, walks away. But I do want to say in this match, Velveteen Dream really put over Tyler Breeze. The selling he did for Tyler Breeze was amazing. The the unprettier that Tyler Breeze hit on to Velveteen looked like the most brutal move you could ever see. He landed on the top of his head. He sold he sold that like a champion. That was a beautiful spot for Tyler Breeze. It made Tyler Breeze look fantastic, and Velveteen Dream got his point across that Tyler Breeze is a pretty good com competitor, and he struggled a little bit with him. So, Tyler Breeze was very close to winning the NXT North American Championship, and hopefully we get to see another one of those matches again in the future. Now, the next match was a match that I saw a lot of backlash for. Um, it was Shayna vs. Io. Um, this was the NXT Women's Championship match, if you didn't already know from those two names. This match went 12 minutes and 15 seconds. I agree that it should have went a little longer, um, but I'm not going to nix them for that. Um, 
a lot of people were saying Shayna's not good. Shayna, Shayna doesn't deserve to win. It's Io's time. Why is Shayna winning? Shayna's not a bad... I do not see why people are comparing Shayna to Brock Lesnar. Shayna is not bad. Shayna is pretty good if you if you if you actually watch her wrestle. It she's pretty good. She she made Io Shirai look pretty good in the 12 minutes they were given. Io Shirai didn't even tap out to um the the um the sleeper hold that Shayna had in the first time and the second time she fought out of it again and then finally Io Shirai had been submitted by Shayna Baszler at the end of those 12 minutes. You can't tell me that Shayna Baszler is not a good performer. She put on a wonderful match against Io Shirai. We've seen Shayna put on some pretty good matches with everybody. Her match with Kyrie Sane, one of my favorite matches of hers. I mean, you can't tell me that Shayna is not talented. She's had some very good matches with some very good performers. I mean, she is the women's champion, so... That she should be fighting the best of the best. But you can't tell me that Shayna Baszler is not good at what she does. Sure, she's a heel. Sure, you can hate her. But you can't say she's not good. You can't compare to Brock Lesnar, of all people. I mean, Brock's not horrible. But Shayna Baszler's ten times better than Brock. Come on. Come on, man. Next, we had... <laughs> it wasn't even the match of the night. It wasn't even the match of the night. I'm not... It was a match of the night. I refuse to say it. I refuse to say this was a match of the night. You want to know why I refuse to say Gargano Cole Part 2 was a match of the night? It's not because Gargano lost. You want to know why? Because this right here, for the WWE at least, was the match of the year. This was the match of the year. Do I think it compared to any other match that we've had this year on any other promotions? I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna go into that. I, I liked another match better than this match, but in the WWE banner, this is the match of the year. This is the match of the year. This is the match they should be looking at and being like, "How do we one up that? How do we make our next, our next main event feud as good as what Gargano and Cole did in this match?" Now this says this match went 32 minutes. But somewhere on Twitter, I believe I read it went 38 minutes, so this could be wrong. But um, Adam Cole in this match, oh my lord, did this man look like a champion. He played mind games with Gargano. Gargano had many chances to win. They both hit super kick parties. They went crazy, taking a step out of the Young Bucks book. It was great. I love this match. Adam Cole... Tried to actually hit the Gargano escape on Johnny Gargano. And this is where it got really good. I was like, oh my lord, he's going to do it. He's going to beat Johnny with his own move. Doesn't happen. Johnny reverses out of it. He hits the last shot. Adam Cole's finishing move. One, two, th kicks out. Then Cole finally comes up. Cole finally gets his last shot in. And Adam Cole, baby! is now the NXT champion. Now, this match was crazy. I can't even go over everything that happened in this match. I really can't. There was so much that happened in this match. From from the super kicks, from the big spots. I mean, a lot of things happened. It was a great show. I mean, and Adam Cole won. Adam Cole won. Now, I was shocked. I was like, clearly Johnny's going to win. He's only had it for one show. Oh, wow, was I wrong? Was I wrong? Wow. Um, Adam Cole won. He made it one for two. Well, one for three, actually. One and two for the show. But Adam Cole was the one from Undisputed Era to win. I thought all, I thought the other two were going to win. He was going to lose. But Adam Cole, it was finally his time. Adam Cole is finally your NXT champion. And now... It is time to make everything undisputed. Out comes undisputed era. I felt bad for Kyle Riley having to walk out there. Bobby Fish was actually the one in the cast, like I said. Uh, I didn't even realize he was hurt. But Kyle Riley was my main concern. And then Roddy came out. I wasn't concerned about Roddy. I wasn't concerned about him. He didn't take no brutal bump. But, wow. 
to go off the air with this, this is how it went off the air. It, it's it's Adam Cole with with everybody from his team. Adam Cole, baby, cuts to black. It it was honestly the best visual you can go out of NXT Takeover 25. This show was definitely the best show for the WWE this year. I'm not going to compare it to any other shows, but it was definitely the best show WWE has put on this year. Vince, start taking notes, man. Triple H has it figured out. He has it figured out. Now, I do want to mention one thing, actually. Um, NXT is taking the UK NXT, NXT UK, to, um, I believe it's Cardiff. Who cares? Same thing. It's, it's going back to the UK. And for some odd reason, it's on the same, it's on the same day as a New Japan show. And out of all things, All Out. On the 31st of August. My question is Triple H. You definitely heard that All Out last week was announced for that. Maybe Triple H wants to contend with AEW. It's not out of the realm of possibility. It's definitely not. Um, I don't know why he... Apparently they said it was because New Japan shows... Um, box officers were low. Come on. You didn't you didn't think New Japan wouldn't sell it? Come on, man. But NXT UK is going to be a great show. I'm not going to be... I, actually, I will be watching it. Because I'm going to probably... Because I believe NXT UK starts at like 2 my time. So I believe there's 5 hours in between that and All Out. And I'm going to be at All Out most likely. So I'm probably going to be watching that while standing in line for watching Kenny Omega. Or... Watching Hangman vs. Jericho for the AEW Championship. So, I don't know if I'm going to be watching um, NXT Cardiff, but if I do, I do. I'm definitely going to watch it, but I don't know if I'm going to watch it live. Um, definitely going to be a, a very busy day. I mean, you have that, you got All Out, you got the New Japan show. It's a very busy day for wrestling on August 31st. And if you're even going to, to Chicago... We might have, well, we do have StarCast, and we might have a certain CM Punk returning. So, who knows? Who knows? But August 31st could be a huge day for professional wrestling, and I believe it will be. Whether it be the New Japan show being the best show, All Out being the best show, NXT, all of them are equal. I don't care. It's going to be a huge day for professional wrestling come August 31st. I'm excited for it, but I, I'm, you got to prioritize what you put first and second. And I'm telling you right now, if, if I do score some tickets to All Out, NXT UK is going to be sitting on the side. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I can watch you anytime. All Out, All Out I can watch anytime too if, if I don't get tickets, but most likely I'll be watching that live instead of NXT because I can watch NXT for $9.99. Watch for nine ninety nine when I'm probably playing sixty bucks for all out. Maybe they maybe they move it down. Um, but it's gonna be a big day for professional wrestling uh, this upcoming August. I can't wait. Anyway, see you guys next time. It's my name, Boy Gamers Gun, and I'm out. Make sure you guys like and subscribe the video.